you can contact the vet centers and we can walk you through step by step of everything that you need to do to make sure you get everything that you're owed. Benefits are, are you've earned your benefits through your service, so you're not Absolutely. asking for anything. They're not handouts. And the more people who apply, the more benefits there are for everybody. Uh. So. I am a rebel, I am defiant. Going against the odds, striving for great, my actions defying it. Taking back what is ours, spell like David against Goliath. Even with stakes are large, I'm not afraid to take down the giant. In order to work with the gods, play the cards that was handed. Welcome to Local Legends, the series where we have a chat with everyday heroes from around the way. I'm Danny Ray. And I'm the U.S. Army combat veteran Pedro Muriel. And today we have Guy Vanderpool from the Vet Center. How you doing, Guy? Okay, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you for coming, and um, we appreciate your service, by the way, first and foremost. Um, would you mind telling us a little bit about the Vet Center? Yes, the Vet Center program is the Department of Veteran Affairs, and we're specifically designed to help combat veterans returning from uh, service from overseas in a combat zone. So what we do is <clears throat> we basically act as a one-stop shop for all of their needs. So when they come home, they can find out about benefits, uh, find out how to apply for health care, find out how to apply for disability benefits. It's a wide range of uh, benefits that we offer. Um, for the veteran coming home, what advice would you give him or her on how to, first of all, the first step they should take on getting the benefits? Well, as they say in the military, the most important document you're going to have is your DD-214. So make sure you have that. <clears throat> With that, that's the key to all your benefits. So the first thing you want to do is contact the VA. Um, you can contact the vet centers and we can walk you through step by step of everything that you need to do to make sure you get everything that you're owed. Benefits are, are you've earned your benefits through your service, so you're not asking for anything. They're not handouts. And the more people who apply, the more benefits there are for everybody. So don't think that if you're applying, you're taking away benefits from somebody else because it doesn't work that way. For example, if one person comes and applies for uh, benefits, the VA gets, say, $100. If two veterans applied in the VA, would get $300. So the more veterans apply, the more money there is to help out everybody. What kind of services does the Vet Center provide for veterans and their families? Well, the Vet Centers, are, our main purpose is to provide readjustment counseling mm -hmm. for uh, veterans and their families. Um, we also have, uh, we run daily groups. Uh, some of the groups include, we have a, a art group, okay. a book group. Um, the Vet Center where I work at, we're starting a music group. So oh, wow. uh, what I tell people is if they have a good idea and they bring it to their vet center, maybe we can do it for them. That's awesome. That is awesome. Now, do you provide um, family counseling as well? Yes. Um, the services that the vet centers offers are, are free and unlimited. Okay. So it's, it's not just like four visits and then you're done. As long as you need the vet centers, the vet centers will be here for you and your family as well. Okay. Well, let's shift gears a little bit. Um, I know that one of the points that you wanted to touch on was case management. Now, what are some shortcuts in case management for veterans doing a disability claim? Well, disability claims, what they should do is come in and talk to somebody who actually uh, knows the process. Because a lot of people tend, there's no shortcuts in taking it. Mm. So you, you want to find out exactly what you need to do. So if anywhere along the process, um, the ball gets dropped, you can pick it up and run with it. Uh -huh. So a well-informed vet to me is the best vet. Absolutely. Now, what are the one of the first steps that a veteran just transitioning from military into civilian life, and they want they're interested in getting their benefits? What is the first step that they should take? The first step is is, is uh, stopping by their local VA and registering their DD-214 with the with the VA. Okay. Because once the VA has it, then it, it, they'll have it for the the rest of the right. Year. So. The, the thing is, is you want to get it registered because a lot of people, whether it's a fire or recently due to the storms or flood, if they lose their DD-214, it takes a little while to get it back. And you don't want to be waiting on benefits. Another question, because I'm a veteran myself, and when I came home, I was confused on how some veterans would get like 50% for PTSD and 20% for knees and only get a rating of like 60%. So how does that, how is how does that work out? Your VA math is a little different. It is <laughs> okay. Um, so for example, if you have fifty percent for say your back, okay, fifty percent on a scale from zero to one hundred is fifty. Right. Now since fifty percent is gone, there's only fifty percent of the scale left. Right. So if you get twenty percent for your knees, twenty percent on a scale from zero to fifty is ten. Mm. So you'd have fifty plus ten, which would be sixty, and that's why you would get paid for sixty. 
that's how it roughly works to, to, to explain to the layman easily. Awesome. And how long does a claim usually take to get approved? And why uh, some veterans get very discouraged on if you know if they get uh, if they don't get approved within a certain amount of time. So what is the time frame usually that it takes, depending on the disability? Let's say for like PTSD, how long does it usually take to get approved? Well, usually the average uh, time for claim processing is usually six months to a year. Okay. But the three things that are that are important is you need an event that happened to you in the military. You need a current diagnosis for the condition that you're applying for, right. and you need a link between your current diagnosis and your military service. Okay. Those, those are the three most important things in order to make sure that your claim gets approved. If your claim gets denied, you're missing one of those three things. So okay. that's why I inform the vets, this is what you need, and so everything goes through smoothly. Question, Guy. Um, how can families of veterans take advantage of the VA benefits program? Well, what they would do is if uh, they'd be able to contact the vet center, um, and I strongly suggest that the families get involved because if you have, a, say, you have a family member has a, a broken leg or something, the whole family is going to chip in to help them out. So the veterans' family should do the same thing: come in and find out. And we offer um, not really classes, but we can give them tips and advice on to, to help them better deal with what the veterans going through. Awesome. We really appreciate you taking the time today. Uh, it's a beautiful day, and a lot of important information has been uh, told to us today. So, um, where can we reach you? Um, you can contact me at the Bloomfield Vet Center. Um, my, my cell phone number, please feel free to give me a call, 201-218-9170. Thank you very much. For Thank you. Time. Thank you for Thanks being for here. Me. Thank you. And this has been Local Legends. I'm Pedro. I'm Danny Ray. And we'll see you guys next time. Against the odds, striving for great, my actions define it. Take him back with his odds, spell like David against Goliath. Even with stakes that were large, I'm not afraid to take down a giant. In order to walk with the gods, play the cards that was handed. Sacrificed and we managed. Came about the circumstances. Now we raising all the standards. Nothing was given, we planned it. Through the trials, tribulation, and pressure. Going the distance, striving no matter how far we measure. We all together coming alive. We on the rise. Sit, Shadow, sit. Good dog.